Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, founder of the Cynical Libertarian Society, 10 years of podcasting, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the interwebs. What the fuck is it with you fucking Yankees? I was out having some beers with some friends last night, and these are these are above average intelligence people. One of them is from Philadelphia. What is it? And of course, because nobody can get over the Confederate flag. It's just there's there's nothing else going on in the world that this is the most important fucking thing to you people. And so the Yankee says to me, you know, what is it with you people from the South and your thing over this flag? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? We aren't the ones who keep bringing it up in every goddamn conversation. What is it? And this, this was not the conversation we had. The conversation we had was more just like throwing random facts at each other and being half drunk and goofing off. When you know, It was not a serious debate. I have an upcoming two-part episode of Stating the Obvious that was going to go out today, but instead I'm delaying it until Friday because I'm going to put this out today. And... In that, I talk about some things like how you can't convince other people and bullshit about the war between the states, which was never actually a civil war, yada, 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 yada. Anyhow, here's what I don't understand about Yankees. Because Yankees can't understand those of, us, those of us in the South and our obsession with the Confederate flag, which of course isn't actually the Confederate flag. Here's what I don't understand about Yankees. Your obsession with the idea, and talk to a Yankee, talk to a Yankee about what they call the Civil War, and you will find everything I'm saying here is true. Here's their worldview. Their worldview is that everybody in the South was racist, that everybody in the South was fighting that war to protect racism and slavery, and it's because they hated black people. Meanwhile, everybody in the North, every single person in the North was against racism. They're into tolerance and diversity and multiculturalism, and the only thing they cared about was freeing the slaves. They wanted this war because they wanted to come down to the South and free the slaves because that was their number one fucking priority in life. Every time a fucking Yankee woke up in the morning, the first thing in their mind was, I got to go down to the South and kill some fucking gap-toothed rednecks and free the slaves. That was just this mindless obsession they had. If Yankees were so concerned about freeing the slaves, why did Abraham Lincoln have to put all these newspaper publishers and editors in prison to stop them from speaking out against the war? If Yankees were so obsessed with freeing the slaves, why did Lincoln have to have a draft in order to get people in the military to come down and kill gap-toothed rednecks in order to free the slaves? This idea that so many people have, and I've, I've done this whole routine before, again, and, and I, under, I do understand why. It's because people cannot handle complex thinking. Human beings love simplicity. It's just so simple. The North was tolerant and diverse. The South was racist. Wow, it's just so simple. It's so easy to understand. It's like the notion that every German soldier in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force of World War II, every German soldier was a member of the Nazi Party, and every German soldier hated Jews. And, of course... Every soldier in the military of 
England and France and the United States and Russia, all of those people, well, they were in favor of the Jews. They were only fighting the Nazis to save the Jews. There's no other reason they went into the military. Of course, you know, in Vietnam War, I mean, every American soldier who went to war in Vietnam, they joined the military, not because there was a draft that had nothing to do with it. They were in the military because they hated yellow people and they wanted to go kill yellow people. And they hated communists, right? Everyone in the military during the Vietnam War hated communists and was fighting against communism. That's why they were all there, every one of them. And of course, now we know that everybody in the military hates brown people and they hate Muslims. That's why they're there. And they're just everyone, even people who are intelligent. This is, this is like one thing. I don't give a fuck how smart anyone is. You bring me the smartest fucking person you can find. We get around to the war between the states, and I guarantee you, you will come right smack dab into this fucking simplistic fantasy view of the world. You bring me a nuclear physicist. You bring me any, any people who have like the deepest understanding of nuances. Anyone, and I guarantee you, you get around to the war between the states and every fucking one of them has this same simplistic worldview. Every human being in the North was into tolerance and diversity and cared about black people. Every person in the South hated black people and was racist. And that war was about racism. That war was about slavery. Because yes. So why is, and I'm thinking about this, and I think what we see here is the roots of American imperialism. I mean, what is the United States of America doing today as a government, right? You've seen all the mem memes on the internet. You know, we're the United States and we're going to bomb you into democracy. I mean, the war between the states was the first time that imperial America went to another country and bombed it into complying with what they wanted. And the United States is still doing the same thing. You see some people in another country, they're doing something that the United States government doesn't like. Well, we'll come over and fucking kill you until you do what we want you to do. Choo-choo trains. I don't know if you can hear that or not, the train. Another thing I find interesting is whenever you're talking to all these Americans, they always say, America, love it or leave it. I just want to remind you that we did leave it. You came and you killed us until we came back. Okay? We did leave. Don't fucking tell me, America, love it or leave it. If you Northerners, if you fucking Yankee filth, if you care about black people so much, explain Detroit. Explain why you're... It, and, yeah, and, just, and just all, all of the fucking... ability Yankees have to just ignore shit, how they can ignore the fact that Abraham Lincoln said black people and white people can't live together. How that Abraham Lincoln said he had a plan, he was going to send all the black people back to Africa. right? How the Northern Army killed black people just like it killed white people. The race riot over the draft in the North to get soldiers, the draft that excluded black people because black people weren't citizens. I mean, just how you people can just fucking Abraham Lincoln putting newspaper editors in prison for disagreeing with his war. Again, like there's, it's this homogenous, it's this so simplistic worldview. Everybody in the North, every, sing, every single person in the North was against slavery. Every one of them. What I want to know is if you're from the South, if you moved to the north, did you, was there something in the water and you instantly became against slavery and you weren't racist anymore? And if you're a northerner, if you went to the south, 
Did you drink the water and suddenly you hated black people and you wanted them to pick cotton on plantations? Just this mind-blowingly childish, simplistic view of an entire population. And remember, these are the fucking cocksuckers who say to us, who are anarcho-capitalists, that we're childish and simplistic and we just don't understand the real world. I think that the Yankee obsession with viewing themselves as the liberators of the black people is a way of them trying to, you know, morally balance themselves out. Because unless they're just completely stupid, I think they recognize that there's a lot of, I mean, there's poor people in the North. There's poor black people in the North. Again, I understand if you fucking filthy ass Yankees care about black people so much, why are there poor pe why are there black people up there that are poor? Why don't you fucking do something to help them? Right? It's it's just like everything else. When a co when a corporation starts hiring women, they're only doing that. They're not hiring women because they give a fuck about women. They're hiring women because they want to say, "Hey, look, look how many women we've hired. Look how tolerant and diverse we are." It's like the book that I talked briefly about, which I'm going to talk about more in the future. I had to take it back to library, the greenwashing book. All these corporations that spew all this shit about, oh, look how green we are, look how green we are, and this guy is pointing out that they're not anywhere near as green as they say. Why are they saying they're green? Because they're, it's just a public relations bullshit. It's just them trying to fool people into thinking they are something they're not. And for Yankees, it's exactly the same fucking thing. Yankees have this fucking obsession. And it... yeah. It is. It's a fucking obsession. Every time I run into a goddamn Yankee, I talked about this when I was at my friend's house for St. Patrick's Day. This fucking Yankee bitch filth in there starts spouting off about Southerners all being racist and defending Obama, murdering people in foreign countries with flying robots. And that's why. Because your fucking people, your fucking fellow Yankee, Hussein Obama, is murdering people in foreign countries with flying robots. But you still feel holy and righteous and pure and wonderful because you fucking filthy Yankees constantly hide behind this facade of how you came down, you personally, and you'll hear them, they'll say it, we, like, oh, you were fucking there? Really, you were there during the fucking war between, you personally came down and killed gap tooth rednecks to free the slaves. Yankees have this fucking obsession with constantly pointing at the war between the states in order to validate their own moral purity. And it is the constant need, the obsession with validating their moral purity, which is your very first clue that the fucking filthy Yankee statist cunt fuckwad pieces of shit do not have the slightest amount of moral purity. <laughs>